Hey everybody, it's Miss Melissa and Garrett. Hi guys, we miss you so much and we hope you're doing great. I'm excited because today I get to read you a Bible story and Garrett's going to help us out by helping to record so you all can see it. Thanks Garrett. Bye guys. <laughs> We're going to be reading our story from the Jesus Storybook Bible. Some of you have that Bible at home, I know. So I wanted to let you know we're on page 222. That's where you can find our story. If you don't have one at home, it's okay. You can just look up here for the pictures. Okay. So we're in the Jesus Storybook Bible, page 222. And the title of our story today is How to Pray. Now, I know Pastor Gary was just talking about when to pray, right? He was talking about how we should pray in troubled times, in bad times, sad times, and in happy times. When we're celebrating, we're rejoicing, we should be praying in those times as well. Basically, we should always be praying, right? Happy, sad, worried, rejoicing, we should be praying all the time. And now today we're going to talk about, with you guys, how to pray. Okay, you guys ready? In those days, long ago... There were some extra super holy people, at least that's what they thought, and they were called Pharisees. Here, the artist has drawn a picture of what he imagines them to look like. It looks like we have three people standing here. So here's our, here are our Pharisees. Every day, they would stand out there in the middle of the street and pray out loud in big, extra, super holy voices. They really weren't praying so much as just showing off. They used lots of special words that were so clever no one understood what they meant. People walking by would stop and stare, which might sound rude, except that's exactly what the extra super holy people wanted. They wanted everyone to say, look at them. They are so holy. God must love those people best. Now, you and I both know those people were wrong. God doesn't just love holy people, but the people walking by weren't so sure. Perhaps you did need to be really clever or really good or really important for God to love you. Perhaps you had to know lots of difficult, clever words in order to speak to God. What do you guys think? Do you have to be really clever or really good or really important for God to love you? Do you have to know lots of hard words in order to talk to God? No way. No way. So one day, Jesus taught people how to pray. Mm -hmm. He said, when you pray, don't pray like those extra super holy people. Don't pray like these guys, right? Think, they think that if they say lots of words, God will hear them. But it's not because you're so clever or so good or so important that God will listen to you. God listens to you because he loves you. Hmm, we just learned two important things right there. God listens to you because he loves you. We know God listens to us. It says it right there. God listens to us. And why does he listen to us? Here's the answer. He listens to us because he loves us. Awesome. Jesus goes on to say, Did you know that God is always listening to you? Did you know that God can hear the quietest whisper deep inside your heart, even before you've started to say it? Wow. Because God knows exactly what you need, even before you ask him, Jesus told them. You see, God just can't wait to give you all that you need. So you don't need to use long words or special words. You don't need to use a special voice. You just have to talk. So when you pray, pray in your normal voice, just like you're talking to someone you love very much, like this. Now Jesus is going to give us an example, an example of how we should pray, right? Here it goes. If you look in your Bibles, 
in Matthew 6, that's where you'll, where you'll find the Lord's Prayer. This is a paraphrase of the Lord's Prayer, okay? So Matthew 6 is where you'll find that in your Bible. Okay, so here's the example that Jesus showed to the people. Hello, Daddy. We want to know you and be close to you. Please show us how. Make everything in the world right again and in our hearts too. Do what is best just like you do in heaven and please do it down here too. Please give us everything we need today. Please forgive us for doing wrong, for hurting you. Forgive us just as we forgive other people when they hurt us. Rescue us. We need you. We don't want to keep running away and hiding from you. Keep us safe from our enemies. You're strong, God. You can do whatever you want. You are in charge now and forever and for always. We think you're great. Amen. Yes, we do. You see, Jesus was showing people that God would always love them with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. That's how God loves you. Wow. Always and forever love. Never stopping, never giving up. So they didn't need to hide anymore or be afraid or ashamed or worried. They could stop running away from God and they could run to him instead. Just as a little child runs into her daddy's arms. Nice. That's how much God loves us. Nice. Guys, we've learned a lot, right? We've learned a lot. We've learned when we can pray, always. We should be praying always, right? We learned how we should pray, right? Not like the Pharisees. We don't need big special words. We don't need to be showing off. No, no, no. We're just talking to God. He loves us. We love him. And we're just talking to God when we pray, right? And you know you can pray anywhere? Like we can't be at church right now. And we love to pray at church, but we can pray at home, right? You can pray in your front yard, in your backyard, in your bedroom, in your kitchen. You can pray anywhere. Um, all the time, right? Awesome, awesome. We also learned two things. Remember, God hears us when we pray. He's listening to us. He's always listening to us. And why does he listen to us when we pray? Because he loves us. So awesome. And you know what? We love you guys too. We miss you. I'm so glad we got to read our story together today. And I can't wait till we can all be back at Sunday school together. So have fun with your families. Remember to keep praying, keep talking to God. And you don't have to be like the Pharisees, right? Okay. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.